Hello Year 6, I'm back with the second lesson of the week and as last Monday we've got subtraction of decimals as our warm-up activity. 15 questions to be completed as quickly as you can, obviously I'd like to be accurate too and I will go through the answers shortly. Press pause on your devices and have a go please. I'll zoom in first just so you can see the questions. And here are the answers. Let's move on to today's lesson, which as last lesson is all about reading line graphs. Today we've got Hannah, who did an experiment to investigate how the length of this spring changes when weights are added to it. So when the weights are added, she measured the length of the spring here using the ruler. And you can see her results are recorded in the table here. We've got the weights that are added in grams. So with no weights, the ruler was 20.1 centimetres. 20 grams, 20.6, and so on. She asked you to show the results on a graph. How does the graph suggest that Hannah may have made a mistake during the experiment? So as on Monday, have a go at representing this data on a graph. If you're lucky enough to have squared paper or a printer at home, you can still have a go using a ruler and a pencil with plain paper, but it isn't quite as easy to do. I'll come back in two or three minutes when you've had an opportunity to have a go at that. So here's the graph that Hannah has constructed. She's saying that she may have made a mistake here because we've got this data isn't in line with the other data that we've got here. What Ruby's saying is that when 60 grams is added, the extension should be 1.5 centimetres instead of 1.7 centimetres. And I would say that Ruby's done that by taking a ruler, working out how far it is to the line here, and then taking across the line all the way here, which you can see then is 1.5 centimetres rather than 1.7, which is what Hannah has put here. We've got here Emma, who's saying you could make a prediction, if you were to follow the line up, you could make a prediction for other weights along here. It's only a prediction, you would never know, and it might not be the case dependent on how the spring is, but you could make a prediction for 110, 120, and so on grams, um, the length that that spring would be. Today's guided practice is a graph showing the wages paid to teenagers by a fast food restaurant. The wage in pounds is along the y-axis and the hours worked is along the x-axis. So you can see that if you've got hours worked as one here, you should be able to see what the wage is likely to be. I'd like to have a go at these questions. And again, if you're only using it from or only watching from the device, it'll be a little bit less accurate, but you can still get a fair idea and make a pretty good estimate of what the answers would be. So I would like you to look at these questions here. I'll just scroll down slightly so you can see them and I'll come back to them shortly. Right, let's go through the questions and the answers. So Charles worked for four hours, find his wage. So as we did yesterday and today in the InFocus, we find the four hours and then we come right up to where it reaches the line and then go across like so using our ruler and it takes us to 24 pounds. So that's how much Charles has made. Scroll down for the next one. So we've got Miria here who worked for four and a half hours. We have got to find her wage. So we have to go halfway between here and we're going to go all the way up now, it's difficult because the line doesn't keep going. So to help me out here, I am going to draw in a line that continues this one here. So it continues it like so. Should be parallel. It's a little bit difficult on the computer to draw it. Not as accurate as I would like. 
and I can continue with this one up to here and then across and that would take me to 27 pounds and if you got somewhere in the region of that by just using a tablet that is fine it's it's knowing that that's how you would solve the question the next one we've got charles worked for seven hours now this one would be a little bit more tricky to work out we can't see here on the graph what it might be so to help me I've just written in what we know and what information we can work out. We know from one of our questions that if Charles worked for, sorry, four hours, not six, if he worked for four hours, that would make £24. So that means that he's getting, if we divide 24 by four, one hour gives him £6. So if we know that one hour is £6, we can then say for seven hours we multiply six by seven which would give 42 pounds the last question says that charles earned 21 pounds on a monday evening now if you've got that knowledge at the top that we had here that four hours equals 24 pounds one hour equals six pounds you could just divide that 21 pounds by six which would give you three and a half hours. So that would give you the answer, three hours, 30 minutes. Or alternatively, you can use the graph again, and you can take the 21 pounds, and you work out where 21 pounds is, come across the graph, and then down, and that would take you to three hours, 30 minutes, three and a half hours. Okay, let's go on to the independent learning for today. And this is the question. This graph shows the number of toy cars a machine produces during a period of 10 minutes. So you've got the number of cars produced along here and the time in minutes here. And I would like you now to have a go at these questions that have been written down here. Again, press pause on your device, have a go at them, and then I'll come back with the answers shortly. Okay. Here are the answers. And I'll just say, if you worked out the first question correctly, that three cars were produced in one minute, you can use that information to help answer all of these questions here, because you can simply times five by three to get the answer here. Or alternatively, you divide 21 by three to get the answer here. Alternatively, you can use the graph here to be able to solve by using a ruler and then matching up the axes. OK, that's today's lesson. I hope you've been able to learn something again today and I will be back on Friday with our final lesson of the week. Goodbye for now.